Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and uh, this is a C-sharp exercise that was sent to me and uh, in this exercise it is uh, basically two parts exercise. We are going to create a form, a window form, Windows form that looks very simple, something like this. It will have um, two text boxes, one for the number and one that you will enter an exponent and then you click the button power and it will you know give you the result what the in this case 3 to the power of 4 is it also will have a list box with a button and when clicked it will show prime numbers up to 10,000 um, I will post the uh, this, this PDF uh, with the file so you can read it but basically what I want us to do they want us to use uh, methods uh, to cal to calculate the uh, the expo the power as well as the prime. Normally, when you have a form like this, you would put the code for calculations uh, in the button clicks. When you click the button power, you would uh, calculate the whatever results you you need. But uh, in this case, they want us to do. Uh, two separate methods one that uh, allows the user to uh, calculate the power and one that allows the user to calculate the prime because after we're done with this exercise the part two is to create another program that reuses the class that we used to, to, to do the calculations uh, and this time it's going to be a console program so if we the basically they, they want us to realize that uh, the point of object-oriented programming is mostly to reuse the code so uh, that's why we're going to be using uh, methods rather than events to do the uh, to the programming just like the exercise is uh, asking so in the first we will have a win form and in the second we will have a console application that outputs the same output but this time it's uh, just reusing the code that we already programmed for the win forms so I have the form ready because it's very simple just uh, two text boxes one for the number one for the exponent and third one for the result this one is read only and the two buttons one to display the primes prime numbers in the uh, list box and want to calculate the power all right so let's uh, let's get to, to do some coding I guess so um, most of the code will be or not most of the code the calling to the methods will be from the buttons when I click the button power I will call a method that calculates the power and when I click the prime I will just call the method that calculates the prime numbers or displays the prime numbers so let me double click the button and in this uh, button power click um, we need an input from the user which is the number so I will have an integer number and since it's a, a text box by default it would be a string we have to convert it to integer and we, we are converting uh, the text box number dot text that's the name I chose for the for the text box this one is called txt uh, number dot text and this one is txt exponent dot text so um, we got our input for the for the number let's do the same for the exponent equals it's the same thing convert to integer txt and it's exponent dot text all right so um, now we need to call the method or uh, that would actually do the calculations for us like I said normally you could just create a method right here on the same form but since it's going to be reused we are going to add a class 
and I'll just call it numbers just a regular class and this class will have uh, two methods it will have a ca to calculate the power and to determine whether a number that is being supplied as an argument is an uh, is a prime number so we will have a public and it's going to be static which I'll, I'll come back to this why it is static Dum double calc calculate the uh, power and it obviously expects two things it expects the number and the exponent so I'll just do a and b so that's the first one and the and the second method it's asking us to return something so return zero because the, this one will return the actual number this one will uh, the result of the well, power calculation so uh, the second method is going to return a it's gonna be static as well and it's gonna return a boolean and let's just call it is prime it, this one will simply determine if the value supplied to as an argument is prime so it will return let's say true for now so when we come back to our uh, our code over here we can uh, we can now call these methods they don't have any body yet but uh you know we can we can make the calls to them so we can display in our text box a result the result of the calculation so we will do the txt power result dot text equals and now we will simply uh, call the call the method the oh, where's the numbers oh here the calculate power right so uh, but let me show you normally what you, you would simply do in this case if you didn't need to reuse it you could simply do something like uh, a math dot to the power and you would supply the number and the exponent and convert the whole thing to string and this will that's would simply do all the calculation in one line right there on the form so if I actually ran it now this should actually work so let me see but this is not what the what the uh, assignment calls for I just want to show you so if I go number three and number four I get power of 81 result which is correct but that brings me to another thing what if this is not a number what if it's you know uh, an A or whatever a string if I click power now I'll get an uh, exception because it's expecting to an uh, to be an integer so in these cases we need to make also sure that the input is indeed a number so uh, there are uh, numerous uh, ways to do that I'm just gonna do a simple try catch so I will put all this into our try and if it something goes wrong we will go to our catch and uh, this the expect exception that we are looking to catch in this case well, we can uh, is the format exception which is the one where uh, the number is actually not a number it's a string it will throw a format exception so uh, as an uh, we can just output the uh, like a message box or something that show and we can uh, we can just display the the error message uh, it says it's okay so to string so if I click it now and I enter invalid input I get a message box rather than crashing the program it will simply say all that is wrong with the what happened basically now this is a, a lot of text you know for the user it wouldn't be very very helpful so um, Typically, you could use something like message box show and then do some kind of a friendly uh, error 
output something like something went wrong double check your input and then at the end on the new line hey you can you can output the rest of the message too like for the tech savvy people who would like to know what the what went wrong exactly so uh, it will have a friendly message for the uh, for the general population so to speak and also a message for the programmer so it says something went wrong double check your input and then there's the body of the actual error all right so that's uh it's the try catch fairly straightforward but like i said this is not what uh, they want us to do because uh, if you read the assignment they actually want us to do the calculations based on a recursive method not sure why because c sharp has obviously ways to do it way easier than this but uh there i guess this is a, a recursive assignment so um all right so uh, let's do the uh actual coding for the um for the exponent or for the power of uh, in our numbers class so how do you do the uh, the tricky uh, recursive uh, way of calculating the uh, the power well Let me read the uh, instructions. Basically, it says the terminating condition occurs when exponent is equal to one because base to the power of one equals base. And if the exponent is less than one, you return zero. Now, unless I'm missing something, uh, this is actually incorrect. It should be if the exponent is uh, less than one or if it's zero, basically, then return one because you still have to do the, the final addition of the uh, of the power when it the way the recursive method works is that the um, you get three by uh, three to the power of four is three multiplied by three by three by three so the, with the uh, recursive the exponent has to be decreased with each kind of iteration each call so we will do something like if the b is equal zero then we will return one. That's the end of the recursion. We, we don't want to do any more. So, but if it's not, then we will return. And remember what it was. It was eight. Uh, it was the, the number, which in our case is A, multiplied by, and here comes the recursive call. We will call the same method, the calculate power, and supply the arguments, which is the number, which is A, and the exponent which is b but we have to decrease it otherwise it would go on forever by by one and when it hits when b equals zero then we will return one and that will exit the uh the recursion so uh, that should be the recursive method now we have to simply uh simply call it from our form so after we have our input we will we'll simply call the uh txt power result dot text equals and we will do the numbers dot calculate power that's why it's a uh, static like i said before and we will do the pass the number as an argument and we will pass the exponent as the second argument and we have to uh wrap that all in the brackets because we need to output the uh, result as a string in our text box so what this is going to do it's going to call the calculate power it passes the arguments and then it converts the result that is returned from that method to string and displays it into our text box so let's run it so if I click 3 and 4 I get 81 if I get 4 and 5 I get 1024 which I believe is correct but let me just double check quickly 
So it's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, 1024. So that is correct. So that seems to be working. Our recursion seems to be working fine. Now let me show you, like uh, like I said, they, they wanted us to return 0 if the exponent is less than 1. So if we do that condition, if the exponent, which is b, is less than 1, we will return 0. That's not going to work. And it cannot even work, but logically, uh, you get zero because it just returns zero. All the c it starts to multiply by zero. It, that's why it has to return one. So uh, you can uh, see what's happening when this uh, recursion method is called. Let me just put a breakpoint there. When I run it now, to to the power of three. So we got to the uh, the method, it checks, you can see b is free, which is the exponent, so this will be skipped, it goes to the our recursion, a is 2, and now it's calling, and it's multiplied by the result of this, call again, it's calling the same thing again, b now is 2, instead of 3, because it's decreased by 1, so it runs again, multiplied, and now b equals 1, so it's still not less than 1, so here's the final round. So we multiply 2 by ever decreasing uh, exponent, and uh, now you get uh, the if statement is now true, it returns 1, and now it comes over here and it finishes, it returns where it started, which was here. So each of them now returns. You can see it here, uh, it's going kind of backwards now. This is the the first call that we made. So now it exits the whole thing and it will display the uh, the result in the text for, uh, in our in our form. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So that's correct, of course. All right, so this is the recursion or recursion way of uh, calculating uh, power of uh, again it I believe it would be way easier just to use the math class but before I end this particular uh, video let me just uh, go back over to our numbers and uh, I told you I'm making this static the reason reason for it is because it's a uh, this methods can be called directly we don't need to create a uh, you know another uh, an object in order to call these methods when they're static we don't need to create the object we simply call the numbers dot and we have access to all the static methods of that class and it's just easier to also reuse for example the the mask uh, if I un uh, uncommented the math uh, class that is uh, provided with C sharp if I go and, and go to peak definition of it over here you can see that math is static as well so that's why you call those uh, classes by the by using math dot and the methods that you that you are looking for so uh, for example if we go uh, let's do Let's have a look uh, at, I don't know, it doesn't matter, round, for example, the round method of the math class, you can see that it's a static, or even up here, here's the power. Power, uh, and all it, and it expects the uh, argument as a decimal, and then, uh, well, this is the round one again. So the round method, when you call it math.round, and here's the signature which expects the decimal and you don't have to create an object called math you just call those methods directly all right so this is the part one of this exercise um, uh, th the next video we will do the prime numbers and in uh, the video after that we will do the part two which is the console application of this of this program so stick around and i'll see you in the next video take care